Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk about a basilisk and what it is and what its main and most dangerous ability is. Now, the basilisk is a reptilian monster. Although it has eight legs, its slow metabolic process allows it only slow movement. While it has strong, toothy jaws, the basilisk's major weapon is its gaze, by means of which it is able to turn to stone any fleshy creature which meets its glance. However, if its gaze is reflected so that the basilisk sees its own eyes, it will itself be petrified. But this requires light, at least equal to bright torchlight and a good, smooth reflector. Basilisks are usually dull brown with yellowish underbellies. Their eyes are glowing pale green. The basilisk is able to see in both the astral and ethereal planes. In the former plane, its gaze kills while in the latter, it turns victims to ethereal stone, which can only be seen by those who are in that plane or can see ethereal objects. Now, the idea of a basilisk came from European bestiaries and legends, and they claimed it was a legendary reptile reputed to be a serpent king who can cause death with a single glance. According to the naturalist Historia of Pliny the Elder, the Basilisk of Cyrene is a small snake, being not more than 12 fingers in length, that is so venomous it leaves a wide trail of deadly venom in its wake, and its gaze is likewise lethal. Its weakness is the odor of the weasel, and the tears of a phoenix, which according to Pliny, was thrown into the basilisk's hole, recognizable because some of the surrounding shrubs and grass had been scorched by its presence. It is possible that the legend of the basilisk and its association with the weasel in Europe was inspired by accounts of certain species of Asiatic snakes, such as the king cobra and their natural predator, the mongoose. The word originates from the Greek form basiliskos, which means petty king, little prince, chieftain, or young ruler. There are many stories of the basilisk through ancient times, culminating with Leonardo da Vinci, including a basilisk and his bestiary saying it is so utterly cruel that when it cannot kill animals by its baleful gaze, it turns upon herbs and plants and fixing its gaze on them, withers them up. In his notebook, he describes the basilisk in an account clearly dependent directly or indirectly on Pliny's. This is found in the province of Cyrenaica and is not more than 12 fingers long. It has on its head a white spot after the fashion of a diadem. It scares all serpents with its whistling. It resembles a snake, but does not move by wriggling, but from the center towards the right. It is said that one of these, being killed with a spear by one who was on horseback and its venom flowing on the spear, not only the man, but the horse also died. It spoils the wheat, and not only that which it touches, but where it breathes, the grass dries, and the stones are split. Some have speculated that accounts and descriptions of cobras may have given rise to the legend of the basilisk. Cobras can maintain an upright posture and as with many snakes, 
and overlapping territories are often killed by mongooses. The king cobra has a crown-like symbol on its head. Several species of spitting cobras can incapacitate from a distance by spitting venom, most often into the prey's eyes, and may well have been confused with the king cobra by their similar appearance. The Egyptian cobra lives in the desert and was employed as a symbol of royalty. All of these legends contribute to what we know in Dungeons & Dragons as the Basilisk.